Well, this exalted council has changed character since I arrived. At first I believed that the Canari died trying to escape his handlers, like a Telvashoth breaking free to inform us of something about the Canari. But now I am not so sure. I think this Canari made it here by accident. There is quite the complicated setup of Alluvians connected to the Empress's one in her treasure room. I had previously thought that there may only be a few working ones, but we've just passed through several in a row and they don't seem to be letting up. This valley, again, is something that I have never heard of before. It is in times like these that Solus' counsel was invaluable. Perhaps even Morgan could offer some needed insight here if she was still with us. As it is now, the four of us will just have to try and piece it all together. A wash of powerful magic carries a sensation of bitter fury. Images flash by. Elven mages, enslaving tens of thousands, making arrogant proclamations of godhood. Words are not so much heard as felt. The gods are Anavaris, claim divinity, yet they are not by mortals, powerful in magic, who can die as you can. In this place, we teach those who join us to unravel their lies. This claims the elven gods were just Evanuris. Powerful, but completely mortal mages. Whoever ran this place was trying to rebuild the slaves' confidence. Get rid of old propaganda. If that's true, Fenharel was teaching these freed slaves the truth about these false gods. Is this safe? Be ready. The anchor's just charging. Glows brightly for a short time, lighting dark areas and revealing objects hidden there. This looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. We're under attack. that Dorian where are you this is a very powerful uh Very powerful, whatever they are. Take that fade rift. Nice try. Is 
that all of them? There's something along this wall. My, the anchor is not acting the way it normally should. Well, there's nothing else but this room. Okay. Well, I have this statue from here. Let's get out of here. It's very dark. Well, this new behavior has some advantages, it seems. If you don't mind. Right. Adventure. All part of the package. If you don't mind, uh, Veilfire Green. <laughs> I think we need to go down, do we not? Go back the way we came. What are Canari doing out in this ancient elven... whatever it is, uh, sanctuary? Back to the other Alluvian. The one with the broken statue. That's the only thing I can foresee that I can use this statue for. It was well guarded. Yeah, here it is. This is now we're down in it looks like a the chantry building. That doesn't look elvish. This must have been underneath the lake. More destroyed canary. Burnt. Oh, they must have brought a supply cache with them. Canary! Be ready. They're coming for a fight. More coming. Gather round. These are very potent po potions. <clears throat> What's up here? Nothing. So they choose to fight us, huh? Quiet. 
This was a good place for spirits. You've been gone a lot these past few years, kid. Anywhere in particular? Helping people. Towns burned, too many dead from bandits or battles. It's harder now that they can see me, but harder doesn't mean you don't do it. Some silver, right? Prophet's Laurel. It's been some time since I've been out picking herbs. Let's get inside this building. You hear that? They're fighting ahead. These champions, the spirit champions, are so unbelievably powerful. Not sure if that one was confused or not as to what it should be doing. I 
I hear more ahead. Oh, here's more of them. Those Kunari attacked the Inquisition on sight. No idea. They weren't Talvashoth, though. This might be a rogue group, but they think they're following the Kuhn. Very strange. We could use more healing potions. This sort of looks like Solus's art. Dread Wolf. Veilfire. Do I need to energize this in a particular way? That's Fen Harel. Removing a Dalish elf's Valasleen. But these ruins are older than the Dalish. Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning. Not sure what order. If it even matters. Hmm. Six in a row, or three in a row. 
two sides. I have no idea. Absolutely none. Don't have a clue. Well, apparently it needs the sallow right here. In order for us to continue, it seems like I have no choice but to figure this out. The Dread Wolf keeps its gaze on the one light that illuminates the way forward. Is it the middle? The one light? What's this? A very powerful bow. Magically enchanted. We only have a few more healing potions left. We're going to need more if we're going to continue on. A wash of powerful magic carries a sensation of determination. Images flash by, former slaves in ranks with Fen Harel, armed and strong. Their skin is clear. Their face tattoos, the elven Vaseline are, Vaseline are gone. Words are not so much heard as felt. The brand of the Enivirus can be lifted from you, that all may know you oppose their cruelties. None here are slaves, all are under our protection, all may choose to fight. Hidden weapons? These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris, posing as gods. Interesting word, Evan Uris. If all it means is mage leader, well, they were basically magisters. <laughs> We've got some supplies here. Drink the last of the potions. Very old weapons. And Kunari are dead. What did they get themselves mixed into? Very thick cobwebs here. There's a canary head. Are they gonna talk or are they gonna continue to fight? Oh, they're gonna fight.
huge, great war axe. Their orders, too. <clears throat> this letter is written in both Kunlat and the common tongue. I have read reports. Station your people in the abandoned elven towers by the lake. It is a short distance from its entrance to the mirror that connects to Halam Shiro. We will need this space to lodge our people after infiltration is complete. There is a map of the crossroads at the bottom with an arrow from the elven ruins Alluvian to the Alluvian that leads to the Winter Palace. So this letter says the Kunari came to these ruins because the Alluvians connect to Halam Shira. So they're aiming for the Winter Palace. It was some sort of infiltration. There's no more details. Uh, this is crazy. They're acting like we're at war. Are they? <sighs> I don't know, boss. I wish I did. Another regeneration potion. Everybody get it within. Very powerful potions. I made sure that these were all research to their utmost. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my battle armor. It's made this a lot tougher than it needs to be. It's just... an emerald. So that's it. We need to return. There's a letter here. This is definitely an active place. Note regarding the wolf statue. Remember, if you wish to move the statue, light the second sconce from the left as you face the wolf's head. Use the blue-green flame in the brazier. It's magic, but it will not harm you. Remember your duty to the Kuhn. When you light the sconce, a box clutched in the statue's paws will open. There is an item inside. Do not touch it. It is old and elven. We will have a Cerebas examine it for magic when the time comes. Are these... Shit. Are these explosive devices? Let's look for anything that explains why the Kunari came here before we go. Something here. An unknown agent. This gore-splattered letter was written in both Kunlat and the common tongue. Two hours ago, an unknown intruder penetrated our defenses, masked and cloaked. A mage. Use magic to awaken spirits and turn them against us. Intruder moved as if they knew the place. Fled after spirits awoke. Dozens dead. Spirits keep attacking. Engagement not wreck. The rest of the letter is illegible. The blood is still wet. A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. It must be a mage. They killed any Kunari in the way and let the spirits do the rest. Two parties, then. The Kunari, and a mystery agent determined to stop them. Come on. We have to warn people about the Kunari's designs on the Winter Palace. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Not returning. Unless I have my battle armor with me. Unless the blood... Back near where we started. One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The canary may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now, Your Holiness. Colin, please just call me Liliana. Yes, Your uh, Liliana. I just wanted the Exalted Council to go smoothly. We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. 
Our only advantage is that Orlei and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. Then let's bring up the Canari. Could we use the Canari threat to remind everyone how valuable the Inquisition still is? Not until we know more. <sighs> it will be fine. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. We, Your Holiness? <sighs> you do, Josie? I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Canari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. <laughs>